This is the beginning of everything. In a time long before our traveler's story, the world was ruled by seven powerful dragons, the strongest and greatest of their kind. These dragons were known as the Seven Sovereigns, and each governed one of the seven elements. Pyro, Hydro, Animo, Electro, Dendro, Cryo, and Geo. But one day, a foreign god arrived from beyond the stars, much like our traveler. This god had wings and a crown, and was birthed from an egg, androgynous in nature. But it was known to the people as the primordial one. It split itself into four godly beings, four shining shades. And after being embroiled in battle for 40 years, the primordial one vanquished the seven sovereigns. The Dragon Lords furiously retreated into the depths of the sea, and the Primordial One reshaped the heavens and earth to create the world we know today, Teyvat. The Primordial One had come with a sacred plan for humanity, a covenant to protect and provide for them. In a time known as the Year of Jubilee, the Primordial One and its four shining shades lived in harmony with humans. As long as humans were happy, it too rejoiced. If there was hunger, the heavens would bring down food and rain. If there was poverty, the earth would bring forth its riches. If melancholy were to spread, the heavens would reply with their voices. Blessed by the loving gaze of their gods, and sheltered in a peace wrought by a divine hand, humanity flourished and stretched across the continent, establishing themselves as one unified, glorious civilization. But their prosperity was not meant to be. Soon after, the skies were torn asunder once more with the arrival of yet another force from beyond the stars, the second throne of the heavens. It waged a long, arduous war against the Primordial One. The heavens collapsed, the earth was rent asunder, and even the far corners of Tevat were not spared from cataclysmic destruction. Civilizations crumbled, pushed below the dark waves of the ocean by the earth-shattering conflict. And the only god left to answer humanity's cry for help was Isroth, the shining shade who ruled over time and wind. She was every second of joy, every moment of rage, every flash of delirium. She fought valiantly alongside the Primordial One, but as war ravaged the face of Teyvat, the ancient records detailing their battle were lost to time. The conclusion of this war remains a mystery, and so too does the fate of Isaroth. And now, her existence has been all but forgotten in Teyvat. The legends say that if you listen closely, you can hear her in the breeze that makes dandelions dance in Windrise, in the winds that crest the coast of Narukami Island, in the moments where time is neither here nor there in the sheltered oasis of Vanarana. She waits for someone to answer her call. <laughs>